Welcome back to Woodworking Shop, I guess. Um, I know you guys have been following this build for my son's crib. Uh, that's where the mattress goes. These are the two legs. I got two more legs over there. I got the boards for the dresser. That's a dog. That's my puppy. Anybody touches them. Oh, yeah. Anybody touches them. Yeah. So, uh, basically, um, I'm building this all out of reclaimed wood. So, almost nothing is straight. Nothing is perfect. You can even see a slight imperfection right there where it kind of dips down. That's where the old saw that I was making the old cuts. Like, my old saw basically crapped the bed. So, I went and bought that new Ryobi saw. And I bought that Ryobi generator. So, right now, this is the stringer that I got temporarily attached to it not the stringer but the um i don't know one of the rails i guess um and this is what holds these now i made a second <coughs> <coughs> sorry i made a second one and uh the problem is Like I said, nothing is straight. And I didn't realize that these legs bowed a little bit. So whereas it's, uh, where's my measuring tape? So down here, from leg to leg, it's about 29 and an eighth. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. So here you can see it's off a little bit. No biggie, no sweat. You know, I'm not a woodworker by any means. I just try my hardest. But up here it's 29 and three eighths. So, that means by the time I fill this whole thing up with stringers and I get this, I'm going to get this completely to one side. And then what I'm going to do is, yeah, I'm going to get, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to smack this in again sure it's nice and tight on both sides then what i want to do is measure and tape there put this here then smack this in and then i know it's kind of weighed down because of the weight of it but that'll all get fixed so here to there right so if it's like that obviously it's probably just off a little bit but look how big of a gap I got over there so what I need to do is I need to measure what the distance is from now I cut this I pre-cut this along with that one because to the specifications of it over there so what I'm gonna do is before I even measure it, I'm gonna take a few more of these and I'm gonna place one like right here, smack it in. And then one right here, smack that on. Then one over here, smack that on. So, I see. Slide that right there. Slide that right there. Then I'm gonna just go down the line. Because I'm also gonna have to make sure that it's leveled. But basically, what I can do is just get like a rough estimate as to where it's gonna land. So, from where it's gonna land. From here to here, it's about 31, trying not to let the measuring tape bend. It's about 31 and 5 sixteenths, about 31 and 5 sixteenths. I think that's 516. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 sixteenths. But what I'll do is I'll cut it to 30, 
and a quarter. Now I know what you guys are thinking, like how are you gonna cut it? It's already cut. So what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna take this back off. Take that back off. What did I say, 30 and a quarter, right? Uh, measure twice, cut once. So I already, I already cut multiple times and I still don't got it right. So what did I say, 30 and a quarter. So that right there. Yeah, 30 and a quarter. So now that I got that there, I'm gonna take these stringers out. Cause I spent a lot of time on these. Might not look like it, but these are still kind of rough standard. So 30 and a quarter is what I'm going for. These are all the stringers that I, I cut. If I need to cut more, these are all like all the odds and ends pieces that aren't quite as long as these. So 30 and a quarter. So basically what I want to do is I'm going to write down 30 and one quarter because I rather make it a little too long than not long enough again. And then, so what I also want to do is measure the thickness of this, which is approximately three quarters. So I'm going to dig in my bag, see what I have that's about three quarters or thicker than three quarters and if i need to do a rip cut or something um this piece already got a crack in it this piece is way too long for what i need it for so this might be too skinny so it's either take this and glue it together and double it up let me see yeah because that comes in at if I were to measure one inch, it's just under three eighths. And I need it. Yeah, it's just under three eighths and I need it three quarters, right? Yep, just under three quarters. So uh, I think our best bet is to go with this because the only other thing that I got would be like this big chunk, which that's overkill. And then this, so this is taller than that so what i can do is measure three quarters on here which i got plenty of stock for that pencil Then I take my square. Again, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just winging it. So I know that anything after here, I can cut off. So when I run it through my saw, I can just cut it. And then that's a little less stock that I got to deal with. And then also, what else did I say? Oh, and then I got to measure how tall it is. So, measure how tall it is, I can just trace it. So right about there, doesn't need to be perfect, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and make this cut. Let me see how much time I got left on this video. All right, I'll see you guys.